So guys, today we want to change the direction of rotation of this motor. This is a single phase, a synchronous motor that is with dual capacitor. A capacitor start, capacitor run motor. The first step is to identify the terminals of the motor from the terminal plate. This is Z1 and this is Z2. Z1 is the start of the starting winding. Z2 is the end of the starting winding. This is U1 and this is U2. U1 is the start of the running winding. U2 is the end of the running winding. I have connected my power supply, that is life of my supply to Z1 and I have connected my neutral from supply to Z2 and then used this terminal plate to link Z1 with U1 and then linked Z2 with U2. I am going to switch on the motor, observe the direction of the rotor and I will show you how we can change that direction. Now, let me switch on the motor. Observe the direction of rotation of the rotor. You can see it is rotating in a clockwise direction. How can we change the direction of rotation of the rotor from clockwise to anticlockwise? First, we are going to remove these bolts. Remove the bolts. So we have removed the bolts and the terminal plates. Let's remove, this is the terminal plate, the second terminal plate. So, to change the rotation of this motor, so I'm going to link U1 with Z2. So, I have linked the start of the running winding with the end of the starting winding, and then link U2 with Z1. The end of the running winding with the start of the running winding. You can see we have not done anything with the running winding. U1 and U2 remains there but we have swapped Z1 with Z2. You can see the position of the plates now. After swapping, we are going to connect our life from supply now to Z2 here. And then connect our neutral from supply to Z1 here. Connect our neutral from supply to Z1 and then use plus to tighten. You can see now, we have not done anything with U1 and U2, but we have swapped. Z1 with Z2 with this terminal plate. Remember, this is Z1, this is also Z1. It is linked externally using this red cable. This remains Z2. But U1 initially was linked with Z1, but we have now linked U1 with Z2. You can see the swapping. Then U2 was linked with Z2. Now we are linking it with Z1 in the new connection. I think you can understand that. Now, Let's run our motor and see. You can see now. Observe the direction of rotation of the rotor. Observe now. The rotor is rotating in anticlockwise direction. So we have reversed the rotation of the motor. Observe very carefully. Observe very carefully. We have reversed the direction of rotation of the motor from clockwise to anticlockwise. So, to change or to reverse the direction of rotation of this single phase motor dual capacitor, you only need to swap the uh, starting winding and change the terminal plate like I have done. Don't do anything with the running winding. So, thank you very much.